gets my back up a little bit mm -hmm. no. when um, people your age try to define who we are. Customer engagement is pivotal to the design process because some of the most innovative design comes after synthesizing customer insights into a widespread unmet need. Best practice is to not assume anything about what your user needs. Let them tell you. As designers, though, we commonly lean on our past experience to guide us and empathize with our user. But as a group of 20-somethings tasked with creating an online platform to combat isolation in seniors, we had to start from square one. We started off by asking the questions, how do seniors interact with technology? What difficulties do they encounter during regular use? We performed primary and secondary research, reaching out within our networks to conduct interviews with possible users both over the phone and in person at their home. Through this phase of research, we discovered some bigger recurrent themes, like keeping busy is crucial to emotional fulfillment in older adults. And some small ones too, like password management is a huge issue. To develop our understanding of our customers' daily life, we performed ethnographic observation through directly shadowing an older adult over an average day. This phase illuminated the fact that older adults already use technology to keep track of their calendars, share photos, communicate, and stream their favorite TV shows. Customer input and engagement plays a crucial role throughout the entire design process. So after product ideation, we held a focus group at a senior residential community to get direct feedback on the lo-fi prototypes of our app and assessment. You have to bring me up to date. What is an app? This experience demonstrated to us that technological literacy remains a barrier for our users and reinforced that clarity and support should be well integrated into our product. Throughout our process, we have observed that older adults like any other population, are incredibly diverse and defy stereotype. We got some of our most profound insights from a one-on-one -on -one interview with one of the quieter focus group participants. I could just tell that she had so much more to say and I really wanted to hear it. So I reached out, she invited me into her home and we talked for over an hour. What really stood out to me was how disconnected she was from her surroundings. She reminded me that living in a community doesn't mean you have one. This is the perfect embodiment of our user, someone who has so much life and interest that is just unfulfilled. She, just, she put a real face to our target audience. We met on Friday, but on Sunday morning, she emailed me a list of ways she would want to interact with our platform. I felt like maybe we had really tapped into a powerful solution. 